Hi guys, um, as uh, quite a few people are asking me about uh, installing NaviX onto your XBMC, um, I thought I'd do a quick uh, demo on how to uh, get it installed on your uh, iDevice. Um, iPad, iPod Touch, iPhone, um, the same sort of um, install still applies to the Apple TV too. Uh, it's a slight few different things you need to do for your um, iPad, iPhone and iPod. Uh, the first thing you need to do, once you've obviously got your jailbroken device, you need to install uh, uh, a couple of things. Uh, first thing you need to install really uh, is the NaviX uh, zip file, which I've, you can see I've got there. Um, you can find this by just simply going to the uh, NaviX website. Let's find that so I can show you guys what it looks like because there are a few copies out there that I know of that uh, actually download a virus. So let's make sure we get the right one. There we go, NaviX. Click on navix.org and you want to go to downloads and then you want to download this green item here. Um, it should automatically download to your desktop. Uh, if it doesn't, just save as uh, and make sure it is on your desktop just so you know where it is. So once you've done that, uh, you also need to uh, install um, WinSCP if you are a Windows user, which I am at the moment. Uh, W-I-N-S-C-P. Pretty easy to find. As you can see, it's there. It's your SFTP and FTP client for Windows. Again, it's a free uh, download, uh, which you can get pretty easy. It doesn't take too long to download. So once you've got those two things uh, on your desktop and ready, uh, you now need to uh, turn your attention to uh, what device you're going to install this on. Uh, for instance, uh, here's my... Um, iPad, uh, oh, sorry, iPhone 4S, and uh, what I'll do is uh, I'll go into Cydia, and what you need to install on here is XBMC, and it will be the iOS. So once you've installed that on your device. You can then now search, again, again that's a free install, you need to search for open SSH, which you'll need this to obviously get your secure remote access between your laptop and your iDevice. So once you've uh, installed both of those, uh, you can come out of there. So your device is set up and ready, so we'll put that one down. Right, back onto the uh, laptop, you need to open up your WinSC, which I've got already, somewhere, I should say. There it is. And um, what you need to do is that when you actually um, load up WinSCP, it'll ask you for your host name, which will be your IP address of your device and a user and password. Right, the username is root, R-O-O-T, and the password is Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E. Um, I suggest you change your username and password because that is a default um, password and username at the moment, but you can change that. So obviously you make it even more secure so no one knows how to get into your device. Um, to find out, a lot of people don't know um, how to find your IP address on your phone, so I'll give you a quick show uh, on my 4S. Um, so let's get open. And you want to go to settings, go to your Wi Fi. And where your Wi Fi is, you'll see there's an arrow. Click that arrow, and your IP address will be the top bar. So that's where you'll find your IP address. So once you've got your IP address, like I say, stick it in the host's 
which will ask for you on the WinSCP when you log in and the username and password and then it will connect to your device. So that's kind of like the easy part. Again, this is a quite an easy install, it's not uh, too difficult. So what you do now is that you'll come up onto your device, you'll have all the folders from your device on there. Uh, again, you have your iLook, iTunes, downloads, uh, your photos, purchases, etc, etc. Uh, obviously you can see there the SHSH, which is installed on the, on the device. Um, so for instance, I'm using my iPhone 4S. So what you need to do now then, is that you need to head over and find the right place to uh, actually install the zip file because what you're basically you're doing is you're going to install the zip file onto your phone and then once it's on your phone you're going to unzip it so you can actually uh, use it on your phone so what you need to do if I go back and I take it from the beginning it will look a bit like this when you uh, open it up and you have all your folders. So obviously there's quite a few folders that you may get lost into where to pull it. So where you need to pull it is in VAR. So double click VAR. And then you need to go to mobile. And then you need to go to media. And that is where you're going to put this zip file. Um, so as you can see, private VAR mobile media. Just take your time, make sure you get the right folder, because what happens otherwise is that if it goes into the wrong folder, um, then you'll be hunting around forever to find it, and it's not going to be in the right place. So all you do then, is basically, as you can see, I've got NaviX already installed, but all you want to do is grab NaviX and push it over onto there. It'll come, it'll come up like that on the screen to say, oh, copy, cancel, help. All you want to do is hit copy, takes seconds to download onto your device. So we can cancel that down, and what you can do now is that you can actually shut this down now because you've got NaviX on your device. It will say that you obviously want to terminate the session. Yes, okay, go ahead, not a problem. Okay, so now it all happens on your device. So let's get my uh, iPhone 4S. Let's get it open. <clears throat> Head over to XBMC, which you can see. Obviously, on the iPhone 4S, it's a bit tiny, so bear with me in my fat hands. As you can see, you have the uh, NaviX display on your iDevice. Now, NaviX is always going to be installed under programs, not videos. Uh, a lot of people get confused um, and try and look for it on videos. It's not in there, it's in programs. So, anyway, so obviously, you've installed this zip file. And it's gone into your media library. So I'll show you how easy it is to go and find it. You will hit the settings, add-ons. You want to install, if you can see that, it says install from zip file. See that? So install from zip oh, no, you know that. You want to install from zip file. Home folder. And then you want to go down to media because that's where we could have um, that's where we actually put the XBM file. Um, you could actually put it into library as well. A few people do put it in library, but I always find that if you stick the, the correct zip file to what it actually is. So, for instance, NaviX is a media center. Um, stick it to uh, where it should go. So you go to media and scroll down. Scroll down. And there you'll find the NaviX um, repository there, see it there? So all you do is you tap that, and then you basically, what it does, it says NaviX enabled. So that's all in there, so basically now in your XPMC Media Center you have now got NaviX. So obviously you want to go and head over to NaviX. So let's go over to there, so you're going to come back, come back head over to programs as you can see NaviX is now on your device hit it let it load up and I'll just tap the top one for instance for example let's uh, go from the top and there you'll see lots of folders you can choose from again as in my previous uh, 
tutorials on XPMC. I always hit most viewed in 24 hours and there you can see there's a whole array of um, things you can hook up with, some free movies, uh, you've got free live TV uh, from K1M05, brilliant, brilliant channel, uh, some awesome channels on there including the sports, um, again there's movies, um, uh, the list is endless, uh, you've got USA channels, um, again comedy, the list is endless anyway, so that's basically your Navi X. So as you can see there's lots of tools from on there, um, it's basically hit on one, go through all the films and um, channel, see what you like, uh, and that's it really. Um, as I mentioned before, um, this also is um, available on the iPad. So if I show you my uh, iPad 2 here, and I can show you uh, it running on here. So we'll go on to, uh, let's go and find now the X, where is it? There it is in the top corner. Let's make sure we get it in the right way around. Again, it's on a much bigger scale here, uh, which is much better. Um, again, go into programs. As you can see there, it's got NaviX. Hit on NaviX. Again, hit on most viewed. As you can see, that uh, like on the iPhone 4. S, um, you've got all your channels. Um, so let's click on one for instance, go on k one M 5 um, It's got a guide, see what's going on in the uh, sports. Let's go into those, obviously, movies. Again, uh, check out all these movie for channels, absolutely incredible. Um, Film 4, Action Cinema, let's see if one is on at the moment, let's try another one. Sometimes they are down um, for a few hours, uh, but they're normally back up anyway. So you've got MGM, MGM HD, uh, Fox Movies. Uh, so that's it really, basically. Um, NaviX on your iDevice. Um, I've got this, let's say, on my iPad 2, um, on my iPhone 4S, uh, also on my iPod Touch 4th Gen, um, also on my iPhone 4, <coughs> um, and it's pretty cool to be honest. Um, same rules apply for Apple TV, uh, I've also got this on my Apple TV too, both of them. Um, same rules apply really, but um, you just need to put it into different folders again to uh, what your repos are, uh, because with Apple TV you can add more repositories as uh, for the iDevice. Um, so hopefully that's given you a bit of an insight on how to um, install NaviX is quite straightforward. Like I say, I'm using Windows um, based. Obviously if you're using a Mac, make sure you've got the right program to run uh, your SFTP and FTP into your device. Um, break, subscribe and give it a go guys.